are joined today by Ginger Richard. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm good. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Yes, indeed. So before we dive in too much, in case somebody doesn't realize who you are, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm Ginger Richard. I live here in Rochester with my family. Um, I am at Schaefer Medical Building with Dr. Benfit. Um, have been there over a year now. Yep. Absolutely. All right. Did you grow up here in Fulton County? I did. Left for a brief moment, but came back home. All right. Okay. So I, I was looking uh, at your profile on the Woodlawn Hospital website, and you've got a lot of degrees. I do. I do. <laughs> I do. I guess not. It was a lot of goals. Yeah. Is what I had and just stepping stones, and you know, here I am today, exactly where I want to be. Well, we're uh, we're glad to have you here, and. Um, Without further ado, we'll dive into uh, the the big topic: summer skincare. Summer skincare, yeah. Um, good week to talk about it. It's supposed to be really hot this week in yes, the nineties. We yeah. were talking earlier. Today's a cool day. At what you said, eighty-five. Yeah, eighty-five. <laughs> All right. And then I seen uh, the Facebook post of the day. You know, what's your favorite summer activity? Yeah. And everybody on there, you know, being outside gardening, being by the pool, on the beach, you know, all those things outside. So when we're outside, it's important to wear sunscreen. Um, you know, we do love the sun. It does improve our mood, vitamin D, all those yep. good things. But there are some negative things with it too. You know, we run the risk of skin burns and, you know, leading to skin cancer. So making sure we're applying sunscreen. So a lot of products that um, we buy over the counter, you know, like our facial moisturizers and stuff have an SPF in them, which is good, you know, for daily use. But if you're going to be outside in that sun, you need to get a sunscreen that has good protection factor. Um, you know, SPF 30 and above, especially to those, you know, kids that we were talking about that are outside doing their sports training as school's going to start soon. You know, making sure that they're applying that sunscreen good, you know, heavy and thick. Uh, at least 15 to 30 minutes prior to being outside and then reapplying a lot of them are waterproof but when we think about waterproof that doesn't just mean being in the sun that means you know being in the water and the sweating and such too there's also uv protection clothing available um you know wearing that too as protection along with those big wide brim hats okay i know uh, this summer has been kind of cruel to me uh driving a lot um, my arms have gotten burnt uh, i took a long trip to southern indiana uh, about a month and a half ago and my left arm was just red yeah. and peeling for days on end so i didn't think well i'm in the vehicle i don't need to apply yeah. anything and then i had my window down which was a mistake yeah and then you get burnt <laughs> i know I know, and you know, back in, I'm not gonna age myself, but <laughs> you know, back in, in, you know, when I was a kid, you know, we didn't talk about sunscreen. We didn't talk about the importance of it and what the long-term effects were. You know, we were putting on the baby oil, laying out in the sun and, you know, trying to get that good tan. Yeah. But, you know, as, as we are here today, it's just important to protect your skin because of the risk of skin cancer. Um, you know, when you come and see us in the offices, we're always talking about your wellness, you know, get your mammograms, get your colonoscopies, but just as important, do your skin checks, you know, always checking your skin, um, you know, do those yearly, dermatology, we can do them in the office as well, checking for any areas that just don't look right. Um, you know, those skin cancer appearances can be cratered, they can be itchy, they can be painful, they can bleed, and they just look different. They change, they grow fast. So make sure that you're just always checking. All right. A lot of uh, good ways to check there. And, you know, as we, we talk about wellness and uh, mammograms and things like that, you know, there's always a, the self check. And it sounds yep. like the self check for this is if something starts growing that looks off yeah come see a doctor come see us yeah yeah all right and now what hours are you available so at our clinic um i start seeing patients at 8 30. okay um and i believe my last one of the day is four okay and then at dr benefit as well i believe he starts at 8 a.m and i believe his last one's about four about four four thirty most days yeah. you know and, and, and those are our hopes you know yeah but uh, they're always there for everybody no yeah. matter what time yeah um, right. typically you know somebody needs to get in they squeeze them in so their their days change a little bit but that's the general idea yeah. okay and uh, a good phone number to reach you if somebody wants to call you and says you know what uh 
they're talking about things growing on my skin that don't look right. This doesn't look right. I better call. What's a good phone number? So uh, we can be reached at 574-223-9393. Hey, that's an easy number to remember. Very easy. 9393. Wow. Yeah. That's right. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. So again, um, you see lots of levels of SPF. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually, for the first time, because I get my normal 50 SPF because yeah. I have fair skin, but I saw SPF 100. Yeah. So obviously that's going to be even better for me than just the 30 or the 15. Correct, correct, regardless of your skin type. And SPF means sun protection factor. So the higher the number, the more protection you're getting from those UV rays. Okay. And now um, for new parents, for the those with the babies and the toddlers and the younger children, what is a good range for them? So there are baby specific sunscreens. When we go to our local stores and we're looking on the shelves, there are ones that are specific for those babies. Um, you know, they're more hypoallergenic, you know, more gentle to the skin. So, you know, getting those 100 um, SPFs for those babies, making sure they're in their wide brim hats and then the SPF protection, you know, clothing that is available too. But just keep those little babies out of the sun. <laughs> yes. Put them under an umbrella. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And that's another thing that you could add to that sun protection is the, the yard umbrella. Yes, stay under your umbrella. Yeah, you don't have to go buy just a regular umbrella and keep it just for rain. You can use it for sun too. Yes. All right. Well, um, so what type of, you were talking about white brain hats. What's your favorite white brain hat then? I, I honestly can't say that I own a wide brim hat. You do not? I do not. So I my wife not. and my mother-in-law, they have these kind that kind of fold up and roll. Oh, that's and nice. they just, they, they end up literally fitting in a little pocket. That's um, nice. So yeah, there's a, I know they got them online, but yeah. um, <laughs> they get, they get pretty good size. They good. Yeah. yeah. And then Brad, I'm sure you just throw on the baseball cap, right? It's normally a bit. No, actually I do have a, I have a Stetson hat at home. I got a cowboy hat at the house. And, <laughs> and then I have a uh, more of a, uh, I guess you would say a more of a Panama style, a more rounded hat that I'll use when I'm sitting on the tractor mowing the yard. So. All right. Yeah. Practicing. Absolutely. Preach, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Trying the best you can. Yeah. It, it is scary though, because Ginger, you know, she was saying, you know, um, the importance of the checks are, you know, every year because skin cancer is one of the fastest growing yeah um and particularly hitting a lot of the younger population that it has not traditionally been something we've thought about um so it's it's extremely important yeah yeah i know uh wasn't a whole lot of talk about it when i was growing right. up either and, and it's just like oh you're going to the beach you should probably put some on but if you're out riding your bike and eh, that's that's fine you're moving it's okay but yeah. that's not always the case right and like you said out mowing you know we live in a farm community mm -hmm. and we have a lot of farmers that are on their tractors in the fields you know that just probably you know something that wasn't talked about prior Correct. so Correct. just do those skin checks yeah. it, it We are joined today by Ginger Richard. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm good. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Yes, indeed. So before we dive in too much, in case somebody doesn't realize who you are, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm Ginger Richard. I live here in Rochester with my family. Um, I am at Schaefer Medical Building with Dr. Benfit. Um, have been there over a year now. Yep. Absolutely. All right. Did you grow up here in Fulton County? I did. Left for a brief moment, but came back home. All right. Okay. So I, I was looking uh, at your profile on the Woodlawn Hospital website, and you've got a lot of degrees. I do. I do. <laughs> I do. I guess not. It was a lot of goals. Yeah. What I had and just stepping stones, and you know, here I am today, exactly where I want to be. Well, we're uh, we're glad to have you here, and. Um, Without further ado, we'll dive into uh, the the big topic: summer skincare. Summer skincare. 
Yeah, uh, good week to talk about it. It's supposed to be really hot this week in yes, the 90s. It is. Yeah. We were talking earlier, today's a cool day at what you said, 85? Yeah. 85, <laughs> all right. And then I seen uh, the Facebook post of the day, you know, what's your favorite summer activity? Yeah. And everybody on there, you know, being outside gardening, being by the pool, on the beach, you know, all those things outside. So when we're outside, it's important to wear sunscreen. Um, you know, we do love the sun. It does improve our mood, vitamin D, all those yep. good things. But there are some negative things with it too. You know, we run the risk of skin burns and, you know, leading to skin cancer. So making sure we're applying sunscreen. So a lot of products that um, we buy over the counter, you know, like our facial moisturizers and stuff have an SPF in them, which is good you know, for daily use. But if you're gonna be outside in that sun, you need to get a sunscreen that has good protection factor. Um, you know, SPF 30 and above, especially to those, you know, kids that we were talking about that are outside doing their sports training as school's gonna start soon. You know, making sure that they're applying that sunscreen good, you know, heavy and thick, uh, at least 15 to 30 minutes prior to being outside. And then reapplying. A lot of them are waterproof, but when we think about waterproof, that doesn't just mean being in the sun. That means, you know, being in the water and the sweating and such too. There's also UV protection clothing available. Um, you know, wearing that too as protection along with those big wide brim hats. Okay. I know uh, this summer has been kind of cruel to me, uh, driving a lot. Um, my arms have gotten burnt. Uh, I took a long trip to southern Indiana uh, about a month and a half ago and my left arm was just red yeah. and peeling for days on end. So I didn't think, well, I'm in the vehicle, I don't need to apply yeah. anything. And then I had my window down, which was a mistake. Yeah, and then you get burnt. <laughs> I know. I know, and you know, back in, I'm not going to age myself, but <laughs> you know, back in, in, you know, when I was a kid, you know, we didn't talk about sunscreen, we didn't talk about the importance of it and what the long-term effects were. You know, we were putting on the baby oil, laying out in the sun and, you know, trying to get that good tan. Yeah. But, you know, as, as we are here today, it's just important to protect your skin.